Chirag. Um, I took IV Aspire to help me in my master's applications for grad school. Um, I got into my dream school, which is Stanford, for M for an MS in computer science. The other schools that I also got an admit to were CMU, UPenn, San Diego, and at the time the video was taken, I'm still waiting on a few schools, but that really doesn't matter. So my GRE score again uh, through IV Aspire's coaching was 329. That breakup was uh, 168 quant and 161 English verbal. And well, I, I guess it, it really helped me uh, focus my energies on those silly mistakes that I used to make in quant and help me build my vocabulary in English, which I believe wasn't particularly great before this. And uh, specific reasons why I think someone would choose IV Aspire is primarily because of the one-to-one -one interaction that we get with Ms. Shaista, who's taking this video. And uh, apart from that, uh, throughout the GRE coaching itself, uh, it was not just a typical classroom environment where you're sitting, being one of 30 or 40 students and there's this person giving a lecture, she actually comes down and you know, t t actually tries to figure out what your weaknesses are, what your strengths are and then helps you build um, on them uh, specifically. And as far as the profile building goes, uh, the main thing that I saw was, look, for example, I know from my perspective what should go on a resume, but that's just my perspective. And yeah, you can get an opinion from say your dad and mom and someone else who's been there, but I think uh, the, 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 the advantage of someone like uh, Mishaista or Ivy Aspire is they've seen a lot more than what any that, that me or any one of us could see and they can actually tell you from what a university expects on your resume or on your SOP and that helped really fine-tune it so from being say 90% good to actually that 100% that last 10% is what makes a difference between an accept or reject and I think Ivy Aspire really did that uh, for me and coming to uh, say how many face-to-face -face meetings I've had it was actually pretty limited so it was just, I think, let's see, maybe three or four before I went in to actually make my, start writing my SOPs, etc. And after that, it was just mostly through email, whether it was editing the resume or editing the SOP. So it really doesn't make it, at least to me, it didn't make that much of a difference uh, whether I met Mesh Aista regularly, maybe once a month or something, because that didn't happen. And I was still able to see, you know, me getting admitted to my dream school. So all in all, it's all good. Thanks.